hey guys welcome back to programming made easy and today we would be going to discuss about the new apex azure class that is released in the spring 2023 highlights as well as updates so we would be deep diving into the apex class so this would video would be beneficial for both if you are a newcomer and if you have experienced in developing apex applications so let's get started with this so basically what is your apex azure class so this is a new feature that is introduced in your spring 23 it provides a set of static methods for your testing and it enables you to test your code more efficiently and effectively both saving your time and effort in your development process okay so now people will say that uh, salesforce was having its uh, assert methods before only so why was the need of the new apex class so basically the need of new apex class was to make focus on the code readability that it should be more readable and defined so moving further is how your apex assert class works so basically it provides you a range of methods for checking the validity of your conditions in your code like whether a specific value of a variable is true or false or whether to check that two values are equal or not if the condition fails then your new apex assert class has methods that directly tell that this class is uh, throwing an exception and we uh, want to throw an exception in here so that is the main purpose of your new apex assert class why is it important so the apex class helps you to catch and fix errors in the early stage of your development process before they become bigger and more difficult to resolve moreover what it does is it saves your time and reduces the risk of bugs affecting your customers so it also ma makes easy to maintain your code over the time for let us say uh, one year two year or three to five years as well okay so now we would be going over to our vs code where we would be highlighting over the examples that uh, we have created for you so basically first we would be seeing our azure dot fail method that we want to return a fatal error so before uh, we were using our previous old approach was like in our try catch block so this is test dot start test and uh, let us say this is some class and a particular method of that class okay and we deliberately want that this method should fail so we just wrote system dot assert fail throw custom exception and we want to halt the execution in here right so this is okay like if you are a developer and you have developed this apex class so this is understandable by you now let us say you are having a scenario like uh, you completed this project handed over and after some years or some times this project came back to you into your organization and over to this project now you are not working the other person is working okay so now whenever he would read the code so uh, without proper commenting and all this code system dot assert is not making a exact sense that what we do want to have in this so the other person might get confused and that scenario is a tiresome process for the other person as well so now what the with the help of new apex assert class what it does is see uh, till here everything is same because we are calling the same class and method now we are saying assert dot fail exception expected during test so now anyone could understand okay a person is deliberately trying to fail this uh, method so see it becomes quite obvious with the word fail that we want to fail the code execution at a specific line if the exception hasn't occurred right moving further is the case of using assert dot is null so basically in order to add the clarity to the new way that we are developing code salesforce has introduced this azure dot is null and azure dot is not null method okay so how it does is like see what we are uh, doing is we are creating an opportunity from the opportunity services and this is the uh, getting the recent closed opportunity that has just been closed right now 
assert method see system dot assert opportunity is not equal to null and another parameter is except expected the opportunity to not to be null right okay so this was using system dot assert so our new approach what it provides is uh, opportunity we are getting so like see assert dot is not null right so it is checking that is it is not null so if it is not null it is okay else while uh, it would say that okay this method failed or something and this expected the opportunity to be not null so this is an optional parameter wherever you would find this moving to your next case is your case number three that is using assert dot r equal instead of assert dot system dot assert equals why only for the purpose of clarity and make the code more readable and understandable for the other person okay both of these method assert dot r equal and system dot assert are very similar to uh, each other uh, it asserts that two values are equal okay and the advantage of new apex class is that it reads better and if assertions occur during test then we have the better error message right here is a simple example that uh, you would be uh, seeing so uh, what is in here is account we are creating an account account name we have inserted this account so system dot assert equals the expected parameter the actual parameter and the optional parameter is your message right so the account name should be test account so okay this is okay till now account is uh, now see the new approach created the account inserted that so assert dot r equal are these things equal so see is this making a sense so yeah is uh, now where from where we got the value is that uh, from the code readability like how is it uh, being a specific point specific that we can say so yes the new apex class methods are point specific right and uh, like now making use of assert dot is true and instead of assert system dot assert simply uh, so our previous uh, approach was just like in this we are creating a boolean variable and we are saying that salesforce keyword contains force that is true right see so it should return to right so now system dot assert we used to check contains force and uh, this one so is uh, is this same no na so at, at the real time it would throw an error but see assert dot is true is this is are both the things true no na or are both the things are uh, true so yes if we could say like force and force if we match in our developer sense so yeah that would come up to true only so that is the case so i recommend using the new apex class uh, assert class just for the sake of uh, simplicity and um, having more effective readable code so what are the key takeaways for you guys is that it is also possible that you already have a class named assert in your system so let us say any requirement was there or previously when uh, a project came so you got that this was already a class named in your system so now this is an anomaly so what happens is how salesforce is dealing is like the salesforce platform does not stop you from creating a class with the name assert but now this class and your assert class is having the same name space so where is the solution is that we can append the system namespace to the assert class in such scenarios and then we could test using the new apex class right so i hope you guys understood the importance of new new apex assert class and would uh, implement the same from today only in your apex classes as well or like um, if uh, you are working on any previous apex class and modifying the code and you are writing new test methods so yeah this uh, is my request that yeah you could uh, strongly make uh, use of the new apex assert class all in all it is for your benefit only because it would provide you a better clarity when you would see this uh, code after some days weeks months or so so that is it from my side and guys if you are having any doubts in any of the videos you could comment down below i would be happy to solve your doubts thank you